Good evening there. Just wanted to jump on quickly after I've just done a run, been to the shops to get the all important food and wine. And I just thought I'd jump on and just have a quick um, chat about percentage take home. So, you know, there's, I put a post up the other day. I've been putting posts up every month after working. This is my second umbrella contract and I've been putting what my take home percentage is per month and a few people are saying oh that can't be right that can't be right it's like these if it's too good to be true then it's too good to be true right but we're not talking about with my percentage take homes anything like it's not like I'm you know taking home 80% or 90% or on some dodgy scheme yeah I've been with my accountancy firm for 25 years I know like and trust them you know, their FCA accredited, all, all the usual rubbish. They're none of the, you know, scary ones that we've heard about. And ultimately, as, as other people have said, when you look at any sort of breakdown of calculations, on especially on your pay slips, they should all be pretty much the same. There's going to be, you know, the, the employer's NI, which we you know, get collared for, which we shouldn't get collared for. Then there's the employees and I, and then the PAYE, the tax. And then there might be the umbrella fee, which might be 15, 20, 25 pounds a week if you're paid weekly. Um, apart from that, there shouldn't be any other deductions. Okay, so if you're getting deductions for holiday pay, then just realise that you don't have to have that as a deduction. Okay, so some people have messaged me privately asking me about why are they taking off holiday pay for me? So you have the option when you are going through an umbrella company, they should ask you this, but of course it might get lost in translation or just, you know, you're busy trying to get set up with a new contract and you just forget about it. So some of, some of these companies might just default to holding back some of your money for holiday pay. So what that means is, is if you're working week in, week out, and then you take a week off, you would still be paid for that week where you're not working. Like as if you were a perma, you're basically, they're holding back some of the funds, a portion of your pay, and then when you're not working for that week, they basically take that allocated funds that they've been holding onto, and they pay you it. So in effect, you're paid like as if you're a permi. If you take a month off as a permi, you still get paid, don't you? Because they're spreading out the pay over the whole year. So that's what they're doing. They're withholding some of that money and then giving it back to you when you're not working. Now, I prefer to just get paid like as if in an outside contract, you know, a previous, you know, limited company contract. If I work 20 days, I get paid 20 days. If I take 10 days off, then I don't get paid for those 10 days. That's the way I personally like to work. So basically, if you if you want to work like that and get all the money owed to you, then tell your umbrella company that you don't want them to withhold holiday pay, okay? And then you'll get a bit more money per week. And of course, you'll get a refund from any weeks that they've kept the money, you know, when, when they've held it back for you. And... Another reason that I prefer to get the money is imagine if you were dealing with an agency or an umbrella or whatever it was, any organisation, and they went tits up, they went bust, right? So if they went bust and they're withholding the money, they're holding on to money for you, then you've got a harder chance, a more difficult task in front of you to get that money back out of them again. Now, obviously, that's worst case scenario, isn't it? right? How likely are they to go bust? But I've heard of one person doing that. And I've heard of agencies in the past going bust and not paying, you know, contractors like you, like me. So rather than, you know, this holiday pay accruing with this, you know, um, umbrella, for example, I just rather to get, get the money. If you're paid, even if you're paid monthly like me, but especially if you're paid weekly, just get the money and then you can work out what your true take home is from that and like i say i work out take home as what my day rate is so forget all this assignment rate and stuff like that i just take what the rate is that i know i was getting like as if i was outside io35 through my limited company so whatever that rate is 
times by the number of days per month or if you paid weekly do it by per week five days for example and um yeah so that that's the total available figure and then the money you get divided by that is your take home percentage the percentage of the total amount yeah so what you've got as a proportion of the full amount that you are um you've earned and that's what i work out as your take home just as a rough guide so when i worked in australia for example we were getting like 80 percent take home pay so if you see figures like that in the uk that is too good to be true because that's just the you know they're, they're doing something weird they're doing something dodgy they're doing one of these hybrid schemes or you know, I I've, I was asked to, you know, do I want to be a part of this hybrid scheme where you get paid some money as, you know, like through the umbrella system and then they pay you dividends and you're part of this other company. It's like, oh my God, that just, you know, ultimately sounds like tax avoidance. And if it sounds like tax avoidance and you're getting 80% take home, that is tax avoidance. Hand on heart, you've got to admit that is avoiding to paying your taxes. When you get when you're going through the normal mechanisms and like I've been getting, don't forget I was out of work for a few months, um, uh, January to April. I think I got started this contract in April, so I've been working from from April and basically I was getting I can't remember what it was. You might get 67% the first month and then it was 62%. You're obviously hitting different tax brackets. It, it basically changes every every month it seems to and then it seems to settle down and I think last month I got 63%. This month I got 62%. And that's with me not paying pension contribution at the moment. So I'm taking all the money. I want to get as much money as possible because I'm trying to pay off house improvement debts and things like that so I just want to clear those sort of things so I'm not paying into a pension at the moment um, uh, out of my deductions so the only deductions are the employers NI the employees NI the PAYE and then if you're paying a deduction for the umbrellas um, weekly or monthly charges obviously I'm, I'm using the same company that I'm with my limited company therefore they're waiving the umbrella charges I pay zero umbrella fees okay um, so if you want more details on that just let me know the other critical thing to check just before I sign off is check your tax code I did a couple of posts on this and a couple of videos about this and I look back at my emails because someone again private messaged me and I think I remember checking that my, my tax code was something like 1510T or something. And I checked with my limited company accountant and he said, that doesn't look right straight away. He said, but it's because it's umbrella, you especially just give HMRC a call, which of course I was dreading because everyone just thinks what a nightmare that's going to be. But I spoke to a really good guy there and he straight away saw that what they were doing was they were charging me for my um, umbrella stuff that I was earning Plus, they carried over dividends from my last year of working with my limited company. So basically, they were double bubble charging me. So basically, literally on the phone, he sorted that out, took that off. I explained to him, if I'm working in an umbrella uh, contract, I can't have limited company contracts at the same time. One man band is not going to be able to do that. You know, obviously you could do that. But in my situation, generally, in most people's situations, you're going to be working one nine to five job at a time. And of course, he said, well, I, we don't know that. So we have to default to the worst case scenario that you're earning twice. I mean, utter ridiculous. I think loads of people are being caught out by this. So just double check your tax code. I think when I then checked it, it was something like 2048, something like that. So it basically went up. The higher your tax code, the better it is. That's the more allowance you're going to get. So check your tax code, check your umbrella deductions, any problems, um, DM me on LinkedIn or just drop me an email and uh, I'll be happy to just share the actual calculations I've got on my pay slips as well to make sure you're getting the most percentage take home as possible okay but of course if you're paying pension and anything like that one paying your holiday pay then that's going to have an effect on that take home percentage number anyway hope that's useful i'm going to go home now grab a shower lovely beef casserole and a glass or two of red wine all the best speak soon bye